In our previous lesson, we looked at how we can define a custom type with Drizzle by creating a custom column. But what if we could overwrite the inferred type for a column without having to create a custom column definition? Turns out there is actually a utility function exactly for that purpose. This is the code that we wrote in our previous lesson. Fundamentally, we defined a custom type using Drizzle, where the data was specified to be of type panel subscription status. However, the underlying data was still going to be of type text. When declaring the status column, we used this custom column definition, which meant that the inferred type of the individual items was going to have status of type panel subscription status instead of a simple string. If all we are trying to do is to replace the inferred type, there is actually a simpler way. We delete our custom definition and then revert the status back to use the text column type. However, we chain a method called $type where we can specify what the inferred type for this column should be. Here we want the inferred type to be parallel subscription status. So that is what we provide as a generic argument. And we can verify that this is working as expected by looking at the inferred item type. And you can see that status is of type parallel subscription status, which is exactly what we wanted. Smash that like and subscribe for more real world tips and tricks. Check out Boolean art for full courses and I will see you in the next one.